DFG Science TV, Love a la Darwin, Do Inner Values Matter, Made Choice from the Perspective of Evolution. Oh, hang on a mo, Chrissy, Chrissy. Poor old Oliver. He had a fall at the weekend while he was rock climbing and sprained a ligament. So now Christina needs to give him plenty of TLC. Well, that's very kind, thanks. I know, that's just the kind of person I am. But just on its own, without any cream. But you know I far prefer it with cream. You can't be serious, you always want special treatment. But you know I can't walk. Yes, sorry, but that's your own fault after all. Yes, I know, but it was an accident. I told you it was too risky. You had to go and be all heroic. Oh, come on, real men don't need safety harnesses. Hmm, real men? Yeah, right. Hey, watch out, that's painful. So what am I going to do today? We were going to go and see the researchers, and now you can't come. Yes, I know, I'd love to come. It's always good fun, but I just can't walk. But we wanted to ask all about finger length and everything. Yes, and now I can't come. Ah, oh, what a pity. Oh, Ollie, that's a real pain. You know, all that macho behavior really gets on my nerves. I say that at least your hands have to come along with me. You photocopy your hands, and then I can at least ask what's all about. Okay. okay, we can do that. But that means I need to stand up. Of course you do. Come on. Hello. Hello, how are you? Are you alone today? What's the matter? Oh, Oliver had a bit of an accident, but stupid really. Oh dear, what happened? He went rock climbing and wanted to show how brave he is as usual. And then he had a fall and sprained a ligament, so now he's lying in bed at home and can hardly move. You know he's like that, don't you? Take a seat, sit down. Yeah. I've brought a photocopy for you, look, I scanned in his hands. Ah, oh, that's exactly what we always use. It really is all down to the hands, in particular the index ring finger ratio, because the ratio of the length of these two fingers is sued as a measure of the effect of testosterone in the early stages of development. We now know that the ring finger grows longer under the influence of higher levels of testosterone, meaning that the ring finger to index finger ratio is a typically male feature, so to speak. And in another study, we also discovered that a masculine index ring finger ratio is also related to how willing a person is to take risks. In other words, how willing he is to try something dangerous. Of course, it'd be interesting to see how much that applies to Oliver now. OK, let's measure Oliver's index ring finger ratio. Now then, let's take a look. The ratio of the length of the index finger to the ring finger remains the same throughout a person's development, even if the fingers grow. If you divide the length of the index finger by the length of the ring finger, you have an indication of the amount of testosterone that someone was exposed to in their mother's womb. But the ratio of the index to the ring finger varies between men and women. Men generally have longer ring fingers than index fingers, whereas women's index and ring fingers are about the same length. Oliver's finger length ratio is approximately 0.94. That means that purely from the point of view of his index ring finger ratio, he is more masculine than the average German male, who has an average finger length ratio of approximately 0.97. Men with a lower ratio, in other words men like Oliver, develop typically male characteristics due to the effect of the testosterone. For example, their physical appearance is more masculine and they are more willing to take risks. Testosterone in the womb doesn't only affect a person's physical development, though. We've also conducted several studies, some of which also looked at this 2D to 4D ratio, in which we studied the effect of testosterone on the external appearance, but of course also affect cognitive skills or on personality traits. And we found that there is a relationship between the 2D, 4D and increased creativity, for example. This means that those men who were actually exposed to more testosterone even have more advanced musical skills, for instance. Yes, he's definitely musical. I mean, he plays the guitar really well and he enjoys it too. So the personality does play a part too then, as well as physical appearance. Sure, there's no doubt about that in partner selection. Find out what role personality traits play in partner selection and what facial features have to do with it in the next episode.
Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.